right now, and if the flu is still making its rounds through your household, you are not alone. Yeah, the CDC says this season is now one of the longest in recent memory. Josh Breider's here this morning with how doctors say you can help keep your family safe. Here I am again. I got the yes, hand sanitizer. Promise. Unfortunately, I already used up all the emergency, so yeah. I'm a little oh. selfish when it comes to that, well, ladies. You're <laughs> right, right all the greens. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Well, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says this year's flu season has been one of the longest since 1997 when it started keeping records. So far this season, up to 41.3 million people showed flu symptoms, with up to 19.4 million visiting the doctor and as many as 610,000 hospitalized. Health experts say one of the reasons for the long flu season is that two types of flu viruses surfaced at different times. The beginning of the season was H1N1, and as that went down, H3N2 viruses went up. St. Mary's Hospital nurse epidemiologist Ellen Smith says this new information from the CDC is something they too have been seeing in their emergency rooms. I would speculate that we're on the downhill slide and that you'll see some cases going on for the next several weeks and then it'll phase out probably in the next month or so. But it's not unusual to see a random case here or there almost any time of the year now. While flu cases are declining, Smith says the viruses can still spread even in the warmer weather. That's part of the reason why she still encourages you to get the flu shot if you haven't done so already. We did check and it's still available at many locations around the community. Now, while it has been the longest flu season in more than a decade, it hasn't been very severe locally. Smith tells me there's only seen about a third of the cases so far this year compared to last year and only half as many as the year before. Along with the flu shot, she also encourages those common sense things like washing your hands and, of course, <laughs> staying home when you're sick. I think we all want to feel oh, like guilty and be the hero. And, yeah. you know, we don't want to let people down, but it's like, oh, when you think about it, it's like we could probably save a lot that Just way. Just douse the newsroom in this. We <laughs> should be rubbing the desk. Yeah. I know, we really should. It's crazy. We're almost into May. We're still talking about this. Well, so. hopefully not for too much longer.